Hello everybody, Peter of England bringing you an update on Area 52 and the development of certain services that we said that we were going to be providing to you all as the, as the time progressed. Um, ceremonially, the birth of Area 52 took place on the solstice, June the 21st, 2023. And so now we're at about a four month uh, progression into it. Um, some of the previous videos that you've seen have shown that we are preparing the documents for you, for those people who want to become citizens. But the message today is very, very simple and it's a message of health and rejuvenation because many, many people are coming to our attention that they are, um, I would say, with the world being in this uh, devolutionary state or cycle that it's currently in, we're finding more and more people have got problems with their health. Whether that's a general sickness, whether it's a chronic sickness, whether it's a psychosis or a depression or something they just can't shake off, um, it's not helped by the fact that the media portrays the world as nothing more than a crazy environment with war on every door and this constant infusion of negative energy is affecting people, not only individually, but on a local um, level, on a regional level, a countrywide and a planetary level. So, what most of you are totally unaware about is the fact that there is an agenda running here. There is a technology, there is a frequency fence, if we might call it that, operating in the background and the same technologies that are invasively, toxically destroying you and everything that is your, your, um, your physical body, your auric field and the more finer or refined bodies that are outside of the physical, they're being impacted quite dramatically by technologies that are attacking you from all sides. So not only have you got the scalar type wave, the uh, pylon interface network, PIN, of various intruder extraterrestrial groups, but on top of that, you've got a constant bombardment in the food chain, in the food supply, in big pharma and media broadcast, um, 3G, 4G and now 5G broadcast radio towers. And so what that's in effect done to you is leave you totally exposed. Totally exposed because you have not been taught or shown or convinced maybe that you have the ability to protect yourself from all of this. Um, the medical profession are turncoats. The medical profession globally have betrayed you. The medical profession have become nothing more than executioners in white coats patrolling these death houses, which they call hospitals. So you have a much higher incidence of dying in a hospital than you have in a prison. So the medical profession are probably still useful for suturing, stitching a wound, putting a broken arm together, or maybe removing a cataract from someone's eye. But from a general level of treatment, they are useless and should not be trusted. And so where does that leave you? Because most of the people on the planet require probably three or four main things. They require food, they require shelter, they require um, medical treatment, uh, and that's it. So three or four, four main uh, things of importance to protect them and keep, lead them through their lives. Um, if the medical profession, if the allopathic system is not to be trusted and not to go anywhere near, then what is the alternative for you? In fact, what we are going to do, and this is from Area 52, for all those who haven't gone onto the site yet, it's area52.life, go under services on the tabs at the top, click medical, and you will see the offer that Area 52 is now making to you and to the world generally. What we are operating here is a rescue service or a rescue mission. We are going to use and employ the same technologies that have been arraigned against you to help heal and show you how to protect yourself. 
In many instances, this can be done um, without massive input from you. There are not a lot of learning techniques. There is nothing great for you to do other than initially to want a type of healing. Now, this healing is being offered because you have given your power away. You've given your power away at every point to the, the pharmaceutical medical conglomerate, the war machine that is there constantly trying to not heal you, but kill you. Um, you need now to protect yourself. You need a shield erecting around you. These shields uh, sometimes are called um, macabre fields or um, auric fields. Um, in their normal natural state are fine to protect you from a general, um, should we say, tour through time and space with lots of the things that are just commonly naturally there to try and uh, upset you or invade you. Now, once it gets to a point where there is a proactive organization of, um, uh, of frequency bombardment against you, then you need additional protection. And so that's what we are looking to deliver. So Area 52, as of the 5th of November, is going to be broadcasting to all those who wish it a protective frequency, which is also a healing frequency. The construct of the frequency broadcast is twofold. One, there is an element of human, um, commonly, conventional accepted practices that are deemed to be most effective. In addition to that, we are using a fourth dimensional and fifth dimensional light frequency. These are, in effect, I would describe them as electrotonal light and sound frequencies that are being broadcast through the quantum field um, directly to you. So, doesn't matter where you are in the world, what you're doing, these frequencies, this broadcast radionic can reach you and find you and do whatever it is supposed to do. Um, it's a shield, it's providing healing for you, and it will protect something that is within your auric field, and that's called the Christic body. Um, the Christic body is also similarly called the crystal body, uh, but that's just a play on, on the words of, of, of Christ or the Christic uh, phenomenon, both explained in the Hindu literature and in conventional Judo-Christianity. So, we want you to take back the mind of healing, and that's the most important message that I want to deliver. So, please go to area52.life, services, medical, read the information that's there, because what we are looking now to do is to start um, a positive action. This isn't some hypothetical um, naturopathic or homeopathic remedy that may work or might not work, and your mind can maybe neg it out. What we are using here is God source particles. Okay, so you don't have to believe in God, you don't have to believe in extraterrestrials, you don't have to believe in anything other than the fact that there is, seemingly, a physical universe outside of you, which you seem to be contained within. And on that basis, if you can accept there is matter, then you can also accept the fact that the matter is made up of particles. The particles go down to atom size, the atoms go down to photon size. The infrastructure or the building block, the basic building blocks that we're going to be using and broadcasting to you are in effect called God particles. They are the essence of fabric of time and space. Just to put this in perspective for those who've got a scientific bent, you could get approximately 800 billion billion of them in one third dimensional photon. So, when these, these partiki are broadcast to you, they have a way of affecting the actual substance or the matter and the morphogenetic field and consciousness of the individual. So, they're very important, and if I would describe it, I would say that 
the, the methodology of the incorporated um, quantum field mechanics are based on the postulate of what's called non-locality principle. The non-locality principle was a discussion between Niels Bohr and his uh, followers, um, between Albert Einstein and, and Niels Bohr. And it was also called the Copenhagen interpretation because that's where Niels Bohr uh, did most of his research work. So Einstein said there was nothing faster than the speed of light. The counter argument was um, everything is instantaneously communicated everywhere in the universe and that is in effect proven today to have won the day. So it's the non-locality principle. It doesn't matter where you are. The broadcast network is going to be sent um, um, a, a program frequency which cannot do you anything but good because it's based on love. If it's not accepted, if it's not wanted, then it simply goes on the, the universal law of, of compensation to the next individual that could use it and benefit from it. So uh, all we ask you to do is go to the website, um, follow the instructions, all we need from you is a simple email which says that you want to participate. We just need then your email, which we will receive if you communicate. We need your date of birth and we need your, your name and a small description of what the problem is health-wise or mentally that you wish to address and then we will program that in for the, the broadcast. Um, so, the science of light and sound broadcast to you anywhere in the world to program and heal the crystalline body on a subconscious level and repair the very base codes of matter using uh, archetypal symbol codes and something also called partiki grids. So, the main rationale behind it all, just to conclude, is that it is the mind that controls matter, not matter controlling the mind. And so what you need to do is take possession of the mind, connect with a higher self or a, a higher level of being. And there are modalities, there are healing technologies out there just waiting for you. But unless you ask for them, unless you volunteer to come onto the program, then they just stay there inert, passive, not used. Health therefore becomes the means to the end, yeah? Health is the criteria that you need to embrace because as the world tumbles now into more disarray, more chaos uh, and more lunacy, it's going to become more difficult for you to receive medical conventional treatment anyway. So instead of allowing people to, to flounder or flap about in, in um, expectancy with nothing there to help them, then maybe something can be done externally. So that's the offer. Go to area52.life. Pass this on to everyone. Um, the only condition of this, you have to be associated with Area 52. And by that, I mean you need to be a member. But it's a very, very small ask of you in order to participate in this. It's going to start small for you, but get bigger and bigger as we show you more intricate techniques, and above all, to protect you from the lunacy of this Luciferian, satanic agenda perpetrated on you by all the warmongers, which are the politicians. So we bring love, not hate, or war, or destruction. Peter of England saying, thank you.